for your pet. CBS 13's Jill Wagner joining us live from New York with all the headlines. Good morning to you, Jill. Oh, hi, Jill. Excuse me, sir. Good morning. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Bethany again. Interest rates could be going up more quickly than previously thought. Minutes from the most recent Fed meeting back in December show that policymakers think a Trump administration could bring faster economic growth. That could mean a more aggressive rate increase schedule. They also note, though, there is considerable uncertainty about the uh, new administration's policies. Okay, this is the last day for owners of Galaxy Note 7 smartphones to use the device. Right? Verizon and AT&T are going to be rolling out a software update today. It prevents the phones from charging or connecting to cellular networks, pretty much making them unusable. T-Mobile rolled out that update a couple weeks ago. Of course, we know that phone under a worldwide recall. And Princess Diana's handwritten letters about her sons are being auctioned today. In one note, Diana says Harry was constantly getting into trouble at school. In another, she says that uh, William gave her baby brother endless hugs and kisses. I mean, as if you couldn't love these kids anymore. Or they're not kids anymore. That's right. Guys anymore. <laughs> You're right. So, uh, Jill, we're hearing something about wearable technology going to the dogs. What's going on there? <laughs> okay, so think Fitbit, but kind of for your pet. The uh, company behind the, a smart collar says it actually can sense changes in a dog's mood. It basically measures their eating, drinking, sleeping, and movement, and then crunches the numbers to figure out if your dog is stressed or sick. The collar will cost about 200 bucks. It launches later uh, this month on Kickstarter. Uh, I, I saw your tweet. Fascinating. How does Trestle feel about it? You know what? Trestle's always in a good mood. I, at least I like to think so. There you go. Certainly Great name, they by give the him way. Toys. <laughs> Great name, by the way. Jill Wagner, always That's, a pleasure. Uh, I can't even soon. tell you how I got that name. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm super curious. Can you, what, what kind of dog is he? <laughs> Okay, so he's a mix. It's actually my boyfriend's dog, and he okay. went to Ohio State, and he's obsessed with football, and it's uh, the name of uh, one of the coaches there. Ah! Uh, yeah, the but I went Jim to Price. Michigan, so it's uh, like this rivalry oh, that we got. So he did very well. Right. But uh, mad love for the dog, always. <laughs> and yes. mad love for you, Jill. Thank I can't you so hold much. it against him. <laughs> no, you cannot. Thank you, Jill. Always a pleasure. We'll talk.